this is the second video of my beauty on a budget series is that how you say it? strelitzia 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 those are the colors such pretty colors like wow you know what for the tube for the gram for the facebook let's just do it you know you only live once so just let's just be extra in this video that's enough waffling from me let's dive in and see if we can create a little look a little song 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 hey guys thank you so much for watching this video my name is rachel baskin and i'm the creator of the blog dance in my crown a motivational blog geared towards empowering women through faith beauty and lifestyle so i'm coming at you guys with another video in fact this is the second video of my beauty on a budget series that's right beauty on a budget because listen makeup is expensive and I don't believe that you have to buy the most expensive stuff to look good and so you know I decided to perform let's call it a public service I decided to perform a public service for you guys just kind of scouring the internet and seeing where I could potentially buy some potentially good and cheap makeup and see if I can create a look and let you guys know what I think about it that way you guys can watch it uh, decide for yourself if it's good and hopefully buy it if you enjoy it and so before we even start on this I do want to let you know that every single product that I will be reviewing in this series is 100% unsponsored there are no affiliate links this is just me doing you a solid letting you know where the good stuff is at if any if we find it in this series letting you know where the good stuff is at so that you guys can get a hold of some good cheap makeup as well because I said this in the video before and I'm gonna say it again here I don't necessarily mean think that expensive means good and that cheap means bad just because something is cheap doesn't mean it's bad and I just I want to know so one of the brands that I decided to explore is called beauty glaze we are going to check out their strelitzia is that how you say it? strelitzia 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 I don't know the strelitzia palette I will put it in a picture for you guys so that you can see it better the strelitzia palette from beauty glaze now if you haven't watched my beauty on a budget series firstly you need to check out a little song song from the first video of the series that i filmed this makes me laugh warning for external use only because who eats eyeshadow Okay, so let's go in with a color that I think would be good for the transition. So I think I'm going to go in with the cinnamon color. Um, oh, okay, that picked up quite nicely on the brush. Eh, eh, eh. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Mm, 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 mm. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Oh, that's actually quite pretty. That's actually quite a pretty color. Right now, it's just like spider legs dangling from my eyes. You need to check out a little zone zone from that, okay? The link for the video will be in the information cards. It will be in the uh, description bar below. So yeah, today we're going in with the Strelitzia palette. That's enough waffling from me. Let's dive in and see if we can create a little look, a little song, song, song. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys in. Hopefully you can see a little bit better uh, what goes on. Again, not because I'm a pro, but so that you can actually see the colors and be able to see what I'm doing and see if you like it, agree with me, whatever. The packaging, you know, you think, okay, this is cheap makeup, is it good? But the packaging is really bomb. Like they have done a really good job, Beauty Glazed and um those are the colors such pretty colors like wow um there's a little plastic film that goes on top of the colors but these colors are gorge darling they're just gorge <laughs> now um i bought this palette number one if you've seen a couple of my youtube videos by now you'll know that i don't do bold eye makeup because that's just not me i'm into my neutrals i like my browns my golds um just kind of like neutral earthy tone kind of colors i do not do greens and blues and and like what's that? that's like a peachy kind of color and reds and stuff like that i don't do that but i thought you know what for the tube for the gram for the facebook 
let's just do it you know you only live once so just let's just be extra in this video why not if not why not so that's why uh, part of why I went for this palette the colors looked good they're bright they vibrant and I was like you know what let's try a little something different and let's see if we can create a look so now what I didn't do in my first video that I'm doing in this one I actually did open the palette beforehand to take a look at the colors and to kind of think to myself what kind of a thing we can do on this face so I have an idea of the kind of look I'm gonna go for and now we're just gonna see if these colors will be any good at creating Creating the look in my mind that I'm envisioning if maybe you know um, what I will say about this palette coming back to the, <laughs> to the palette I really like and this was the same with the sunset dust palette I really like that the, um, the colors have names on them they seem to be a uh, good sized palettes and I think you get a decent amount of product in it um, and again it's very well made very professional looking like I don't think you would guess that I got this on AliExpress for a fairly cheap price and if I put the um, when I find the price I'll be sure to put up how much I bought it for on AliExpress but the proof of the pudding is in the eyeshadow application so let us application the eyeshadow and see if it's any good so before I actually start I'm gonna attempt oh wow okay this picked up this picked up quite nicely quite a bit but I'm gonna attempt to like swatch and again I'm not a makeup guru so like what do I know about swatching but I just I want to see oh wow these colors look <whistles> pigment okay I don't know how well this is translating on the video I mean I'll see better when I am editing this footage back but oh, wow that green is not playing games oh neither is that blue okay so that is the swatch let me take a picture of this for you guys <laughs> so that i can put it in because i always think to myself oh i'll put it in later and then i forget okay let's do this cheese i love it i don't know if your guys phones can do that but my phone if i say cheese it'll take a picture or like there's other languages like you can say kimchi or whatever anyways my phone does that i am impressed with the swatches I'm impressed with the swatches, I'm impressed with the colors, I'm ready to play. So I'm going to take this pale gold color, what I want to try to create is like a, you know, yellow into green into blue into black kind of look. We'll, oops, we'll see if I can do that. Uh, you see, yeah, it's swatched nicely, but it's really not picking up on my brush. Like there is hardly any product on that brush. Uh, psh, yeah, nothing like there's nothing there so it's swatched beautifully but it gonna need a little some extra so i'm gonna go in with my elf illuminating mist mist and set spray um one thing i did last time that i don't want to do this time is i think i was wetting the brush a bit too much um hopefully really yeah this is This is not uh, doing what I want this color it's buildable but like shisha takes work you've really got to like pick up a lot of you yeah you've got to miss it for sure it takes work there are other eyeshadows that just pick up way easier the product picks up way easier on your eyeshadow like struggle gold <laughs> it's not bad it's not struggle gold I'm gonna mist it again and put some on the other eye it's hard for the product to pick up and so you have to pick up a lot and then it gets a, to be a bit of a mess like this there's so much that picked up and there's like some product falling out Wait, it's a bit blotchy putting it on the eye I'm a bit worried about how well I can blend this out. One thing I will say is that there is a lot of fallout in this palette. Like it's going to be on my lid. Well, duh, it's going to be on my lid. But <laughs> it's going to be on my eyelashes, I mean. And it's like falling down here around my face. Like there around my eyes and stuff. So there's a lot of fallout. It's a pretty color. 
but um, yeah man that fallout is real the pickup of the product on the on the brush is weak I'm gonna go in with the green it's called a blitz emerald it's a very pretty color and it's swatched really pretty but yeah again you don't pick up that great on the brush but anyways the real proof will be in how well this can blend well it applies nicely i'm kind of like using patting motions like i'm patting it onto my lid this <laughs> this is not a look i would wear going to drop off my kids at daycare or whatever that's definitely not it I wonder what my husband will say because again like I don't do bright colors on my eyes at all so I wonder what he will think I wonder what my kids will think this color I'm looking like a clown who's run away from the circus <laughs> you know there is a real possibility people that this turns out being better in my mind than it was than it will be in real life like expectation versus reality <laughs> um, I'm not sure how I feel about the blending though I feel like this eye blended well my left eye but then my right eye maybe I need to go in with a bit more of the gold and try just blend more we are going for a peacock look <laughs> On the monitors, I look crazy. I know I look crazy. In real life, I kind of dig it though. Again, this is not a look that I am wearing going to the grocery store or whatever. But you know, it's fun for YouTube. It's fun for... It's just fun. <laughs> Do it for the gram, but not for real life. <laughs> Misting my brush again. So what I will say is yeah the colors are bright for sure the swatch was not deceitful working with it on your lids it definitely takes some work for sure but the swatch was not deceitful the swatch was not deceitful i've mainly mostly only using shimmery colors for this look because i tend to oh this blue just does not exist right now and this is often misting the brush I mostly like a shimmery look um, I've always liked shimmery colors as opposed to mattes I just like the shimmer I like the bling I like the extraness of it um, so I'm testing out the shimmery colors maybe I should do a thing with a video with the matte colors to see if the matte colors are as hard to work with as the shimmery colors Okay, so this blue, the Blitz blue, is not a smooth application. Like looking at my eye, I don't know if you can, or I doubt you'll be able to see this on the video because I'm sitting so far away, that it's patchy in application. Like you've really got to go in and like try smooth it out as much as possible. So I'm actually thinking to myself, you know, I was saying earlier, like these palettes are cheap and it might be a good palette to work on, to learn makeup on. But the thing is like, I'm not actually sure about that because the colors, you really do need to work with them. And if you're not familiar with makeup, like it could be a lot to try and figure this out. So yeah, I don't know if this would be a good palette to learn on. I'm kind of leaning towards the fact that I don't think so. I will say, I think to pull off a look like this, you need confidence. Just to be able to walk out confidently, just... I think you need confidence if you're going to pull off this look. And I don't think that's a confidence that I have. Like I know on Dance in My Crown, I'm all about embracing being comfortable in your own skin and all of that. And if you have the confidence to rock and look like this, go you bet me i would not be able to rock this i'm going to daycare to pick up my kids like this no but again in the name of you know trying something fun and different it's kind of fun 
these colors they do require a fair bit of work so yeah I'm not sure how good it is to learn doing makeup on this palette but then maybe it isn't bad because like it really does force you to learn how to blend <laughs> learn how to blend and again it's cheap man so yeah you don't have to worry about wiping off you know a, a, an expensive eyeshadow palette and starting again if you don't like the look so so there are pros and there are cons i guess in the end is all i can say is there are pros and there are cons and you just have to decide what is worth it for you i suppose so what i want to do is i want to kind of I think I'm going to go in with this color here, Coco, and I'm going to add that as my transition shade. And like I said, it's definitely going to fall out onto the lid, but you know, it is what it is. It's a nice dark cocoa looking color. That I'm going to just use it to kind of blend out that harsh line there from the eyeshadow just to give it all a blending into each other onto the lid and up across the eye this is mad bright <laughs> I'm so I'm not used to seeing myself like this at all now I want a, like I wanted this fading into black there is no black on this palette um, so I decided to go in with this palette I have had forever I bought it in South Africa whoops at this game so if you're watching this from South Africa the perfect 10 colors absolute is a really just like black nice dark black color that I'm gonna go in to just smoke it out at the back um, again I'm kind of cheating a little bit but there isn't a black in this palette So overall, I will say, in real life, this is kind of what I envisioned <laughs> that it might be. So what do you guys think of the look so far? Is it a look or is it just plain old crazy? I think it is a crazy look. This is, this is a look you do if you're going to like a masquerade ball or something. I don't know. This is, this is not a look I would do in my everyday life, but I'm having fun creating it anyways. Oh yeah, my son is up. My son is up, so let me go get him up. So here's my boy, he's up, Evan. Hi buddy, did you have a good sleep? <laughs> yeah. You going? You wanna play with Layla? No? You're just going. Okay, well he's just going, he's just doing his own thing. So let me try finish up here, and this is what I was telling you guys, fall out. I'm gonna try dust it off without blending it into your skin. Well, there, I think I've done, I've blended it out as best as possible. So far, what I will say about this palette is similar to the first Beauty Glazed palette, the Sunset Dusk one, the colors do need work. This one straight away, the swatch was bomb, but it still needed the same amount of work as the previous palette, to, as the Sunset Dusk palette to make it work. So, so yeah, they require work. Excuse the noise that you guys will hear. My kids will be playing and making a noise and oh well. It is what it is. This is mom life. You know what actually? I'm going to go in with my um, Rimmel Glam Eyes Black Liner. And I'm actually going to do a wing liner. Because I feel like this look calls for a wing liner if you're gonna do a dramatic eye then you've just you've got to be extra go extra or go home so we're gonna be extra I've not done a wing liner in a long time it used to be like the staple look that I would rock I'm really drawing this liner out way more than I would want it's like <laughs> it's kind of way further than I wanted it to go but oh well hey you know this could be a look hey eh? i mean maybe an exotic dancer look but a look <laughs> gosh okay now the trick with the wing liner is 
is recreating on the one side what you have done on the other. And I don't think I've done that. So let us just say a moment of prayer. Father, just help me in this moment to just symmetricalize my situation. Amen. And before anyone gets upset, I'm not making light of prayer. I am a Christian and prayer is very serious. It was just supposed to be a bit of a joke, not of prayer, but just of the fact that I'm actually feeling really nervous about doing a wing liner. Hi, bud. What's up? Baby. Yeah, you see that? You need help with this? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna need to. Ooh, there you go. Can you take all the, all of those ones plus this? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Well, while he picks up this toy, his toys, I'm gonna finish doing my liner here. So we've got the wing going. We've got the wing going. Um, yes. The battery. Oh, we need to wipe your nose first of all. Is the battery all done? You want to say hi? Hey. Hey, there you are. You see yourself. How does mommy look? Layla, you see the colors on mommy's eyes? It's pretty. It's pretty? Yeah? Okay, thank you. My daughter says it's pretty, so it's all good. Okay, is the battery dead here? Yeah. Yeah, the battery's dead. Let's go get you something else. Okay, so I need to really try to finish up here because my kids are starting to get loud and I need to get going. Oh, the fallout of this palette though. Here, hey, now I have like a streak of yellow across my face. But anyways, um, let me go in with the color. I think I'm going to go in with the color cocoa under my eyes. And then I'm going to add just a bit of the green and the blue and the black. Just kind of like smudge it along. Right. I think that's a look. Now we need to go in with some blush. Um, you guys know I showed you guys in my last video my NYX uh, blush in the color Desert Rose. I love this. I've had this blush for like ever. Um, now, I was going to go in with my blush, but before I go in with my blush, we can't forget lashes. Seriously? Seriously? Who is this amateur? Lashes. She did shine pink. You guys know. The last video when I put on these lashes, I was shook I don't know what I think of this look I think it's extra like in real life I like the blending of the colors and everything but like where are you going like this like are you going to a carnival like maybe earlier this year if I was going to Coachella which I didn't <laughs> maybe if I was going to like Coachella or some kind of festival but One lash on, another one to go. If I can find my tweezers, oh, they're right in front of me. <laughs> Going in, second time round. Wow, okay, I got that lash on. Okay, there we are. So I'm gonna give that a chance to sit and stick to my eye, then I started telling you guys about the next blush, so I'm gonna go in with that, and I'm really gonna be light-handed with this because I already have strong eyes. I don't want crazy rosy cheeks, and we are gonna do a super nude lip because I think that is the only look that works with this. Okay, so my blush is on. These are the beauty glazed highlighters. I think for this though, I'm going to go in with the second palette that I got. They're not named like palette one, palette two, they just have names. And this palette is the color French Vanilla, Cotton Candy, and Salted Caramel. Mm, salted Caramel. I think I'm actually gonna try the Cotton Candy. Cotton Candy Cream. Let's, let's actually go for that one. 
Ugh, this baby picks up on the brush. It's such a nuisance. Okay, let's see what it's doing. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, you got in candy cream. I think the thing with this highlighter is like it goes on strong but if you blend it out a bit like I was doing with my hand it can like vaporize and vanish so gotta play with it a little okay that's that's enough of a highlight for me and that picks up oh I think that picks up beautifully on camera nice okay okay cotton candy cream the beauty glazed highlighter palettes are coming through I'll tell you that mm -hmm. see like that's what I was saying you blend it out and it disappears on you a bit you just go in with a little bit more kind of just play around a bit I'm impressed with that that's quite a bold highlight which is what are they on about? Which is quite um quite a lot with this look I feel like but oh well I guess we're gonna be extra go big or go home okay right now let's move on to lips a little bit of vaseline mm -hmm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> okay these were the dollar pencils that I showed you guys that I got from my local dollar store here in town so I'm gonna go in with that uh, to line my lips and like I said I'm gonna do a nude lip because you know with this brightness in color I don't think we need to be any more extra color is called what is it called raisin it's a very nice brown color you can't see I'm right there you see me now uh-huh closer to me there you go there you are <laughs> there you are okay can I finish up here quickly I'm nearly done okay yeah gosh they are not so subtly hinting I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Superstay matte ink color lip color in the color seductress the same color I wore in the last video So that's my matte lip done um, last thing to do or second to last thing to do is mascara for my lashes just to marry together my non-existent lashes with my falsies do that. okay so I took off the crazy head scarf thing and you know I think when taking off my silk scarf I think this is actually a look <laughs> not a look that I'm wearing out but it's a cute little look so let's set it and that I used my elf illuminating mist and set spray mm, mm, mm. Ooh, ciao. I'm looking at myself on the monitor and I'm kind of like okay <laughs> extra vibes <laughs> Wow, I kind of like this though, you know. In terms of a look, I think if you definitely want people to look you in the eyes, this is a look that will ensure that people do not look away from you. People will be looking at you. <laughs> Gosh, okay, right. So this is my face beat. 
And uh, let me give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so my face is done, my setting spray is set and vaporized, and I think in the end I got a look out of this palette, <laughs> out of the Beauty Glaze Australitzia palette. I think we were able to get a look, I think we are able to do something. Uh, there, I think you see that. I think we're able to do something. I think it's super extra, but you know what? I'm kind of here for a little extra. Like this is not gonna be an everyday face for sure, because it's it's a lot for me personally. I, I feel like this is a lot. The the colors, the lashes, the the highlight, the highlight is popping. Yes, yes, yes. The highlight is popping. I'm here for the highlight. Um, the colors I was able to get a look out of this palette. So sincerely, again, much like the um, Sunset Dusk palette, this palette, much like this palette, it does take some work. It swatches beautifully, okay? The colors are popping, lit. They do take work to get the same payoff this payoff here you need your misting spray you need a damp brush or a yeah a, a damp brush not wet but you need a spray like you saw me do and again i'm not a guru so i'm not like giving you guys like super in-depth tips because i'm not a makeup guru but you definitely need to mist your brush a bit and then like you got to dig it in the palette for sure to get the color to pick up pat it onto your eyelid and you've got to do that a couple times for it there to be this color payoff but this color payoff is attainable it is achievable and it looks good so yeah this is definitely new for me it's out of my comfort zone it's not something that i do every day but i think it's fun for the youtube for the gram you know for the facebook or whatever it's a cute little look so and then the other thing i was saying you know i said it before i said it even in the video where i filmed the sunset dusk palette since it does palettes and then with this palette I said you know oh it's cheap makeup and it's good to learn with but I don't know I think you do need a little bit of technique with this like you need to know about misting your brush and you know putting on the colors the fallout definitely that's the other thing the fallout with this do your transition shade first don't be like me do your transition shade first so that you know it doesn't fall out onto the colors that you've done but not too bad actually the fallout I don't see any on my lid so so maybe it's not bad maybe you can get away with it but um yeah anyways always do your transition color first anyways um so yeah in terms of it being a beginner friendly palette I I don't know I think I think overall I want to say yes it is probably a beginner friendly palette because it's so cheap <laughs> you know if you make a mistake you can wipe it off and not feel bad that you're wasting money so overall do I think it's a go color payoff yes I like the color payoff it took work but I like the color payoff to get this yeah for sure you have to work at it a little bit but when you work you can get it um, as you can see, uh, what well, I can see in the monitor, it's quite bright and even in real life it's quite bright. So the color payoff is definitely nice. It takes work but it's nice. Blendable, it's a little iffy with the blendable. So that's why I say I wonder if you don't need a little bit of skill because blendability, you know, you've got you've to work at it. You've got to work at it. I think that's what I'm going to say. It's good-ish. They're better but it takes some work. Um, but if you make it work, you can get yourself a little look. So overall, you know, I'd say yeah, I'd say go for it. Why not? You know, it's cheap, it's affordable, and you can get a look. And you know, like I said, I've said in a previous video, no one can tell that this is not like Urban Decay or Anastasia Beverly Hills. Or, no one can tell. You know, it looks good. I think it looks good. Again, it's not a look I would sport every day, but I think this looks good. So. I say give it a bash, you know. I'm having fun filming these series. Like, I am so not a makeup guru, makeup artist, whatever. I'm a little girl who knows a little bit about a little bit of makeup, but I think it's working. I think it's looking cute. That's my cue because my kids are starting to get loud. I can hear them through the door, which means you guys can probably hear them through the video, which means it's time for me to go. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, thumbs up. But if you like the channel, subscribe to it. And if you're subscribed, hit the notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video. If you are liking this Beauty on a Budget series, do let me know in the comment section below. Do let me know on social media 
India. Your girl is on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube as Dance in My Car. Well, does YouTube? This is on YouTube. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest as Dance in My Crown. Let me know your thoughts. Um, and um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate you and I appreciate your view. And I will connect with you guys in either the next blog post, podcast, or YouTube video. So, your girl about to go be a little extra while making supper, but you know. It's okay, I'm going to go be a little cute while making supper extra. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you guys. Um, love you and leave you. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.